scissors, rinses, sending star, sending star, rinses, sending star, rinses, rinses, sending star, sending star, rinses, rinses, sending star, sending star. Power sent, powder sent, powder sent, powder sent, powder sent. Shim shimmer, so thousand, shim shimmer, so thousand, shim shimmer, so thousand, rinses, rinses, sending star. Foxy Diva. Okay, um, girls, um, this is going to be called. If I got time, I might have to do another one someday, and it'll be part two of Nail in the Coffin, right? Because my phone is dying so fast. We're just going to kill some mobs, alright? That's all we're going to get to the point, right? Alright, I want you to get rid of uh, Silio Berlusconi. His family, son. I'll pray about that too. Uh, Sergei Mikhailov, his family, son. Andrei Sash, S K O C. Okay, his family. Leva, son. Leave, leave, Kev his family. Okay, I want you. Uh, some of his family, that guy. The 14th. Okay, um, kill all Yakuza buses. Kill their apprentices too. Uh, I want you to. Uh, uh, here's one of their bosses, Asuma Yoshi Kai. I want him gone. But I'll tell you what, how. Kim Ken Foy. He's another guy. I want you to get rid of him. Kamor. This is a, a, an Italian mob. Kill all these. Kill the whole mob of the Kamora. Yeah. Kamora. Can you see me see that? Kamora from Naples. And the Na. Calabria. Kill them all. I'm Kamoya. And Alzien. A very bad evil guy from what my lord tells me. From Germany. Berlin. And he's alive. I want you to kill this whole mafia clan and himself. Dies all of them. Kill all of the MS 13 people. Every single one of them that's in the mob so like really killing people and stuff. So. And um, yeah, okay, this is what's gonna happen. Um, for Salvio Burst Coloni, I want you to go and like visit him as Angelique uh, Bouchard, you know. And um, I want you to uh, totally like tell him that. Um, Hi, my name's. Um, um, Sophia Burden uh, no, 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 that's, that's, that's already taken. Um, uh, Lana. Lana. Lana Delphine. Okay, uh, that's her name. And you go and tell him, hey, um, um, uh, and you meet him up at a cafe somewhere in Milan, Italy or something and make it happen on 12 a.m. my time to 4 p.m. ending my time tomorrow. That's when the spells start. Now, I also want you, girlfriend, to also have this man, and this is your fake self, ma'am, a doppelganger eventually, Bouchard look. You're going to have a look of the movie, which is pretty much the blouse and the nice shirt on and everything like that. Make sure it's believable. Your long blonde hair, everything black, red lipstick, everything like that. Now you tell him that hi, um, what's uh, you just kind of like run into him. You do what all ladies do when they want to get a man's attention, um, which I'm sure he won't have no trouble getting you, you getting her, his attention. Um, sorry, man. Okay. Now um, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna tell him, hey, you want to go? Um, you meet up with him, and you pretty much you know, for him and showing him that and um, you just say that I'm just visiting uh, I'm just visiting Milan always wanted a cappuccino have you had one? and he said, oh, I'm sorry, I ask you these stupid questions, you're from Italy, I'm so sorry you tell him now, you tell him that and then you tell him can I give you my number, mister, or what's your name and so you seem so attracted to me. I attra I'm attracted to you. You know, maybe we could call you and stuff like that. And you call him. And then after that, 
app when you go on, you're just talking to them like, hey, you know, you just talk about your day, blah, blah, blah. You say, how's it going? And she's probably telling you, say, you let him talk. And then you talk to him like, you know, um, sometimes these long distance phone calls and long distance relationships. You know, you want to you hang out and come out. house. He comes here to Meetup House, wherever it's at. Maybe Chateau somewhere made up for a couple of hours uh, for this to happen. And uh, you want to tell him, oh, okay, uh, see, I'm going to tell you something right now. Um, um, you talk to him at a cup of coffee, a cappuccino, homemade at you, your house. You got a cappuccino machine. You got everything like that. They're all ready for him to see. It. And you tell him that, oh, it's, um, you want to just embrace him and give him a hug and stuff. And so you married Mr. Um, Burke Scaloni. And he said, and if he lies, he says, no, this is good. Let's go hop in the bed. And, and uh, you can talk to him in Italian, or he if he's talking in Italian too, okay? He said, I want to embrace you, mi amor. Say it, Roma. Roma, Roma, Roma. You can say that to him, okay? In, in Italian. So yeah, you can tell them that. Anyway, and before you're done having with your mock ugly self, you kiss him and then you kill him when you kiss him. And he's dead. And you take off. And that's it. Okay, he's dead. So, and then you cast a spell with your mock self and you kill his whole family. And that's it. And it's going to be all the killings, ma'am. I'll tell you what they are. Drowning, car accidents, falling off a cliff or building, hanging themselves, suicide, uh, drinking too much alcohol becomes a poison to them and they die, make it com make them compulsive for it, and they're dead. Every single one of his, and they, anyone who's related to him, anyone who's associated with him, anyone that's in his gang, they're all dead by all that. Depending on what God allows. But anyway, um, here is Sergei Mikhailov. His family's uh, die too. Some. I just want him to get distracted by you. You walking with the same Angelique Bouchard look. You, you're not going to talk to him. You're just going to distract them. Like the, red, the, the lady with the red dress in the Matrix. You want to wear some red? Sure. You can wear a red a, bla, a red coat, and you can wear a red coat and a red uh, everything, okay? Uh, but it's going to be a business suit. Business suit. I want this professional. Okay, nothing revealing at this moment, ma'am. Now, you're going to do this to him, and then he just gets distracted. Now, you're going to make him crash his car, and he's going to make a big one collision. A big truck kills him instantly. A whole bunch of cars crash on him, too. Then he dies, and the car explodes like a gangster. All right? His car explodes. He's dead. Then I want you to kill his family the same way, like I said to the other guy, the Italian man. Yeah, drowning. Drowning, getting shot. Maybe add that in there. It's by some random gangster. He gets shot. They all the his family gets shot, killed, drowned, crashed to uh, fall on a cliff, hang themselves, suicide, drinking too much, putting too much pop in the pills, or something like that. Get them all compulsive. Get all this family to get, kill themselves. They're dead. Of that family, that crime boss's family. Now here's Andre Scotch. Uh, kill his family too. Some. Uh, I want you to make this easy. He's gonna. I'm not gonna make these long stories, man. The first one was a story, but this one's not gonna be one. This is assassination thoughts here. Um, I want you to get Mr. Uh, Andre Scotch and his family all together at a family trip. Then all of a sudden, make them go to the beach somewhere. I think, I don't know where he's from, but wherever he's from, make sure he goes to a beach. And make sure some wild animal dogs come and tear the little daylights at him and his family. And that's it. A whole bunch of them, like a thousand dogs, like a whole bunch of hounds, uh, cujos attacking him and his family. Uh, and that's it. You're not involved in this one, except for the spell. Okay, um, and God's involved in this first of all. Uh, Leva Kuftavoy and his family. I want you to take him to an amusement park somewhere. I don't know if it's either Russia or somewhere. 
Uh, take him to somewhere. I don't know where. Just send him somewhere. Manipulate it. Uh, take him. Invite him. Make him go and hypnotize him somehow with your spells and send him to an amusement park somewhere. And he runs into you. It's not like a fatal instinct like the Ned Ravine movie you know, with Amanda Sante. Well, I don't want to do too much of this story, but I want you to uh, be there at a hot dog stand. You meet him and say, oh, hi. How's it going? You drop your change and you lose your change. Oh, shoot, I lost my change. You're like that mock Angelique Bouchard. And you're looking, you know, sexy and everything like that. And you or you lost something, okay? You're, like playing, you're, you're kind of acting like Lily King from Fatal Instinct, but you look like Angelique Bouchard, but with a, with a gray suit on. And maybe she just wear a regular shirt. Okay, you know what? You just wear a regular shirt, mid-drift. Look kind of like you're showing, you know, I don't know. You know what? Just keep it as a business suit, okay, ma'am? Um, and make it simple. I'm just going to make it simple. Uh, you wear your business suit. It's gray. You have white blouse. Actually, purple blouse, if it's okay. You have your long, beautiful blonde hair. You have your eyes and, you know, everything. And red lips, like pale skin. And make that is. And um, you go and you say to him, Hey, how's it going? I said, I just lost my change. Can you help me? I, I'm trying to be in find the change and you say it in Russian damn because I think you speak Russian yeah you go a lot of languages this is your mock self and tell him now can you like help me find my change you say in Russian can you help because what's a girl to do when she lost her purse can you believe that a woman as myself and so did see that I am, has lost a purse can I help that I have a nice strong man that has good eyes find it for me I love I love a man that has shoulders and find it with strong arms. Can you help me? You tell him that, okay? And then as soon as he goes and does that, you say, you want to go on the Ferris wheel with me? And so and he says, and he says yes, okay. We go on the Ferris wheel with him. You go on the uh, roller coaster with him. And then make sure if there's a big dip on the roller coaster, make sure his face slams on her. And you're there with him. Your mock spirit self. And he's dead instantly with the roller coaster, okay? Uh, kill his family, some of them, um, make them drown, fall, trip, get hit by a car, shot, death, stab, death, shanked, whatever, stolen, theft, whatever it is, snatched to there. I don't want to say too much nasty things, man. Um, make sure they fall, they hang themselves, suicide, popping, popping, tripping out, going suicidal, make it tell some of his family do that, okay? Alright, I want you to kill all Yakuza bosses. Every single one of the main ones, the elder ones. I want you to kill every single one of them. Someone was saying that the crime bosses are dead. I mean, not not dead, but they're, it's over with the Yakuza. So, might as well just take push it a little bit more, you know? I think my God wants this to happen. And God says, yes. Kill all Yakuza, I mean, bosses. All of them. Every single one of them. Even the elderly ones. Everyone. that are still in power. I just kill them with, uh, with pneumonia. Kill them with pneumonia. And um, also kill all their apprentices in Japan, the Yakuza. Kill all the uh, b crime bosses. Uh, kill the crime bosses and the mafia of the Bureau of uh, And that's it. And make sure you meet up with a guy named Suma Yoshikai. He's second arm to the boss of the Yakuza syndicate. So I want you to talk to him. I want you to ask for him. You're going to come as Angelica Bouchard and you're going to look and your name is going to be for Yoki Oni. That's your name. And you represent a demon crime boss named Akuma Tengu, which means Akuma means devil in Japanese. So you represent some guy named Akuma, his name is Akuma Tengu, and you say that Mr. Akuma would like to uh, come represent him because he's all afraid of COVID-19. I know I've heard he's heard that you guys are doing a wonderful job uh, trying to uh, help with the pandemic that has been afflicting the um, people. Uh, I'm going to put, uh, hold on a second now, a uh, thing like that. But anyway, you tell him that. This mo this video might cut off, sweetheart, so because my batteries are running dead. Um, um, but the thing is that uh, that's what you're going to do. And, um, yep, pretty much, you just tell him that you, you, Akuma wants to visit Bachan, but he's kind of afraid of the COVID-19 nonsense. 
that's been hurting the mafia business of around the world. And I've heard, and you can say Mr. Akuma also was saying, uh, also was noticing that, yeah, uh, you have been pinched, haven't you? The police of the of Japanese police forces have been pitching you. Yes, he knows that. He's very aware that it's very worse in California because that's where he's from. He's been hiding out too. Now, he also wants to know that if any, and you're going to have a whole bunch of these crazy 88s from Kill Bill with you. <laughs> and uh, you speak to him in Japanese. You speak to everybody in this town of Japan in Japanese. And you tell and you tell him, and if he says, why you have a Japanese name, I'll say, oh, my mom and my dad, my dad is French, or my mom is French, and my, and my dad is Japanese, a half of Japanese, because he has a little bit of Chinese, but he embraces the Japanese culture a lot more. Like Bruce Lee, and you make a joke in Japanese, like Bruce Lee, what's better? Uh, Japanese uh, karate is more superior than Chinese kung fu. <laughs> so you can say that to him. <laughs> he might actually start laughing. Um, but yeah, but you tell him that, okay? With the spell you're going to be casting with your sister, all right? And uh, what's going to happen is that you go, it says, Can we go into your office, Mr. Yokai? I'd like to have a little discussion with you and your um, crime syndicate of the Yakuza because Mr. Kuma is very interested. He sent me because, like I said, he's afraid of diseases and stuff like that. He's a little bit of a germaphobe. He's a little bit of a scare, uh, scared of things like that. And who isn't? I don't like diseases either. But, um, but surprisingly, I'm immune to all diseases. And you have a nice little smirk on your face when you say that to him. And you go in his office where he does his jobs and extortion or he does not. And you have a nice little conversation with him, and you tell him, okay, well, you know what, uh, he's very interested, I do believe I'll give you I'll give you a call, here's my card, actually, his card, Mr. Kuma, I think his card, uh, if you call talk to him, um, uh, we'll be in touch, okay, uh, he'll probably give you a call, uh, what's your card, sir, uh, can I have your card, sir, okay, thank you, Mr. Kai, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you've been most helpful, you tell him, you shake his hand, you say, it's been a pleasure, it's been a pleasure, and um, this little angel is going to go, and you say it in Japanese, and I'm going to go shake my tail affair back to Mr. Akuma. And he's also my husband, too. Yeah, I married a crime boss, yeah. I feel like I'm like the lady from Sopranos, you could tell him in Japanese. <laughs> okay, um, after that, and uh, you go take off, and, and um, yeah, that's it. And after the card, because the card's going to be poison, it's going to be filled with... Uh, Wolfsbane, Wolfsbane, the, the deadliest of poisons on, on the card, so he dies instantly by that in a, couple, in a couple of minutes or seconds, actually seconds, I think it kills people in seconds, Then that uh, that poison, queen of poisons or something, yeah, um, it's going to kill him instantly when he touches it for like five seconds, five seconds, and then you kill him and you kill all his area, and that's it, okay. Well, now I wanted you to just kill Ken Foy with a heart attack. Okay, let's make it simple like that. Ken Foy's just gonna die of a, a heart attack. All right, his name's Mr. Big. He's gonna die at the pub. He's gonna drink too much beer. Then he meets you. Then he said, and you say, and you kind of look at him, and you're looking the same, you know, like um, Angeli Angeli Bouchard, but your name is Helga. L tidbits, and you're gonna be like, "Hey, you know, hi." You talking Irish to him? Oh, I'm an Irish girl, like yourself. But I came from California. Wondering if you can help me. I can't really see where I can find the little girls' room. Can you show me, you big? What's the word in Irish? You big Stonehenge, you. Okay, just say that, okay? <laughs> uh, Ma'am, I'm gonna. Have, I apologize. I'm gonna have to plug this in. One second. One second. Oh, I'm so sorry. One second, Madam. I'm gonna have to lift this up a little bit so I can. You know. Okay. I'm about to go with this, ma'am. Okay.
If I have more room. Okay, I'm gonna go to like spam. I have uh, my my TV's really tripping out right now. My power going out. Oops. Ooh boy. Frustrations we get from Satan. Okay, here we go. Um, now here we go. You tell him, okay. He tells, okay. Okay, he said, okay. He said, the lassie's room. And he says, where's the lassie's room? You tell him, where's the lassie's room? And he says, over there. And then you go over there and say, can you come with me? Uh, Stonehenge. You nickname him that. Can you help a wee lass like myself to go over there and go to the restroom? And you go, and he takes you to the restroom. And then all of a sudden, okay, sir. Can you come in with me? And he says, why? He's just coming in with me. I just love big, strong, brawly guys like yourself. You say, I your sex. And you take him in there. You take Mr. Kim Foy there. Then Kim Foy's over there. And then he's like, okay, what do I do, lass? What if he says that? So what do we do? He says, nothing. And then you grab him, and you do like how Angel Bouchard says in, in Dark Shows, and you pick up a big old, uh, uh, um, um, and then you open the toilet stall. In the, in the bar at the pub it's a big old uh, coffin and he says uh, oh look at that the bathrooms are changing Mr. Mr. Ken, Mr. Big that's so weird and you say yeah, the bathrooms have coffins to pee in for us girls wow can you sit in there man, sir and if he says no I says I and you can tell him oh I insist you need to come in here Mr. Foy and you slap him in there and you throw him in the coffin in the bathroom stall for women and you chain them all up like the movie and you push them out and there's people way behind the stall for some reason the reality change and a whole bunch of skeleton looking dudes uh, with the top slams it on him and chains his crawl like snakes and he's six feet under and he's dead okay and he's gone and he dies of a heart attack like I said earlier okay uh, I want you to kill all the Camoria mob uh, the whole mafia, the whole mafia, the Camoria, Naples, all of it, all of it, all of it, by just heart attacks, car crashes, suicide, killing them on fire, suicide, hanging themselves, you name it, like the last ones I told you about. All right, uh, I want you to get rid of the na N D A R N Geta from Calabria. In Italy, I want you to kill them all the same way as the Camoria clan, the Camoria mafia. Anyway, all dead. Make it quick, fast. That's it for them. Now, El Zane, I want you to meet up with El Zane, wherever he's going to be. He's from Berlin. You're going to go in there. You speak Berlin to him, or German. I shouldn't say Berlin. That doesn't make sense. German, and you're uh, Angelique Bouchard, is, of course. You go and you say in. German, you tell him, Hi, Mr. Melzine, my name is 